Um, Kyle, you said you had an example. Oh, I was just gonna say that like it was never that with my boss. Like it was never cringe. Like like it was just that they were just like real street, and they just kind of spoke casually in the business context because they were the bosses, and there was no one to like look over their shoulder. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there were a lot yeah. of in bomb. These were black guys. There's a, this there was, was the card lot- dealership. You're uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of like the n word, and there there was a lot of cursing because like yeah. their background was drug dealing. <laughs> and they were just taking that and, and transitioning it to car sales yeah. because it's kind of the same game. You know, they're, they're yeah. still, mm-hmm. the structure is the same with the management and uh, and the sales guys, hmm. you know. And, and you go far uh, with charisma and fairness and working with them. I mean, yeah. they, they are sales yeah. guys and like sales yep. guys tend to be the most wild of of those like business types because they're kind of naturally the most social, the ones that like enjoy selling and are good at it. Mm hmm. Yeah, but, but I mean, the general manager, the guy who's running this, mm-hmm. this gigantic car dealership, would be like, Kyle knocked that bitch's head the fuck off. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hell yeah. Good like, boss. And, and he's doing that thing where you, um, you like match body language and mm-hmm. always positive, lots of smiling. If you just look at someone and it's like, yeah, yeah, I think that you want to come in today and like maybe we'll have a good time. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. You uncon. You're doing it. He's nodding. He did it. I got it. Like, like you start nodding <laughs> off. You, you, like, yeah. you want to, like, if, if someone smiles and nods at you, it feels weird not to smile and nod along. Like, we should all be <laughs> smiling and nodding, I guess. Yeah, okay. And, like, after a while, like, like that gets to you subconsciously. You're like, if you smile, you will feel happy eventually. It's a Pavlovian thing, like, somehow. Or we're wired that way. Mm-hmm. If you smile enough, you'll feel better. Um, it's, uh, there's a lot of, like, weird sales shit like that. Those uh those guys were 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 interesting the, like like the different backgrounds that salesmen come from because mm-hmm. it's everything from like hyper successful to incredible failures. It's it it's I think it's the most uh highly Diverse. paid job position, right? Like it's it's salesmen but like per capita are the highest paid professions yeah. professionals. Mm-hmm. That yeah, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I guess a lot of it's commission, huh? Yes. And it's like a a huge chasm. Like some guy at fucking Macy's isn't bringing that that average up but the guy who sells fucking missile silos for Halliburton <laughs> like so what he's, is, <laughs> he's making so, good uh, coin so what i observed is every salesman wants to sell something bigger so mm-hmm. like a car salesman um wants to do real like, estate like, or some shit real estate or boats they like, uh, like, like like to these guys um they I I had a successful car salesman tell me how I was, I was like, man, you kill it. Like, like you make 25 grand a month selling cars. He's like, yeah, but it's a hustle. You gotta, you've got, you know, make cars, you got to sell to make 25 grand a month every month in the winter. I don't have a life outside this. I want to sell yachts. I want that. I want to sell yachts, Kyle. You, if you sell one yacht a year, you've got a career. If you sell three a year, you're rich, you're, you're wealthy. It's like, like 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 these gigantic crazy yachts. Why, but uh, why yachts over real estate? I think for the reasons I just said, because real estate's a grind as well. But I think a lot of guys mm-hmm. want to do real estate, but but real estate seems to require more connections, you know. Like like whereas with the car thing, you just kind of sit there and they kind of come yeah, to you. Come to you. Seems like selling a yacht would be hard. Like who? Do yeah, one hundred thirty million. Who, who are who are you cold calling to buy a seventy two million dollar yacht? Like there's mm-hmm. there's nine people in the country and seven of them already own one. Hey, Mr. Affleck, I was wondering if you, you know, could hit me back. I got a yacht I'm trying to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you know, you're ready, call Jeff me back. Bezos. Hey, <laughs> big Jeff. What up? I got my Twitch Prime sub ready to go, and I need you to call me back about this fucking boat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I now, I know you I own a boat 10 times as expensive as this already. Hear me out. You could use a yacht on your yacht. Exactly. A, a smaller one. Exhibit would approve. Yo, dog, we heard you like yachts. So we put a yacht in your yacht. Is that a dead meme I, now? Sorry, that was a 2010 no, one, wasn't no, it? I, I, yeah. He oh, was, oh he was I was going to nice. say that um, you reminded me of what I was thinking. That, that boss I had that used to be a bit of a drug dealer. Um, <laughs> he, uh, I remember he was, he was 28 years old running this gigantic car dealership. I remember one day I had like pried open the soda machine and I was robbing it of all the sodas. Oh my god! And uh, like like the one that was like in the the car dealership. <laughs> and he... Piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro! Holy shit! That's so Cashew was, limitations. So I was prying open the soda machine. Tell me you're with this crowbar fucking this At soda machine sideways. You, you fucking At my place, place I work. <laughs> hey, let me start over. Let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> 
there was this other guy, this piece of shit. He was robbing a soda machine in my bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saw him and I was like, oh my God. This asshole. Um, <laughs> no, so like the, the soda man like didn't, I don't know how that fucking locking mechanism works. You know, you've seen, you've seen him twist the thing and un- yeah. unscrew. He didn't screw it all the way in. So I was able to like get my way in there and that I'm robbing the machine. And uh, you know, it's right there in the showroom. It's not like I'm like hiding this anyway. I'm just like, I've got an arm full of sodas and I'm getting more. And uh, my boss walks out of the bathroom. He goes, what you doing, Kyle? And I'm like, I'm robbing the soda machine. <laughs> not even for the money. <laughs> and he's like, he goes, that dumbass left it unlocked. I'm like, mostly I did the rest. He's like, he starts getting him too. Let me get him out, dude. Fuck it. Man. Me and this 28-year-old millionaire robbed the fucking Pepsi machine. <laughs> and I know for a fact he took like eight drinks out to his car and put them in it before he came Stash back. Here. <laughs> and I just imagined like like him like wiping his prints off the Pepsi machine before he leaves. Like, like He's like calling. He's like, honey, I've got great news. <laughs> that, I got eight Pepsi Maxes. Hey, baby, I hope you like Sierra Mist. I'm on the way home right now. <laughs> Hey, I got five sugar-free Sierra Mist with your name on it, baby. Yeah, no. Hey, hey, it's like Woody in Mexico right now. It's not always about, like, the money. It's about the thrill. He just wanted to yeah. feel the thrill of doing something mm. wrong. No, like, I stealing from his own soda machine. I was 19 years old. I wanted those sodas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, I would imagine that the boss, I don't think the boss would have been taking a loss from that, huh? It's typically a third party. Oh, it has that's, nothing to do with him. Like, Yeah, he, he, it's, it's not his corporate, loss at all. It's, it's going to be that guy that's get, that gets blamed, right? Well, don't say that. It's a corporate store. <laughs> don't, don't, put some, don't, don't, make, don't make it seem like we no, fucked no. over a little man or something like that. I'm sure no, someone no, else no, made it right. You know, no, we didn't yeah, let's just from hope. A, from, a, from a private entrepreneurial was it a Was it a good soda machine? Like, were you getting Sprite? Coke, Dr. Pepper, or was it like or was it I a mist? Mr. Yellow Man. Mellow, you and Pib. I remember I remember uh that it was Pepsi. That's all I remember. That it was a Pepsi machine. Rip. So I I don't remember what was in That's there. not that bad. I like diet. We had Pepsi a Red Bull diet Coke. I don't like Pepsi. We had a nice showroom. We had like a really nice uh espresso machine and um like a Red Bull machine and uh you know the Pepsi machines and like really nice snack machines that had like cool shit in them. They wanted people to stay in the, the showroom. Yeah.